own style, rarity. And to do this, we're going to need three hairpins, two drinking straws, some hair elastics, a doll's hairbrush, a small towel, a bowl of warm water, and a pair of scissors. First, take a hairpin and push a straw over the bumpy side of it. Cut the straw to the same length as the pin to make a mini hair roller. Repeat this until you have three pins that look like this. Next, dip Rarity's mane in the water and brush through it until it's completely smooth and free of tangles. When you've finished brushing, split the mane into two portions right between Rarity's ears. Pull the bottom half of their hair onto the display side and the other half on the opposite side. Take the lower portion and brush through and smooth their hair until it's flat and shiny like a ribbon. Together and carefully push a roller onto the very end of the hair. Roll the hair as tightly and evenly as you can around the pin. Then tighten the curl and secure in place the elastics. Next, take the loose half of the mane back into the water and brush through it. Once again, smooth the hair to look like a ribbon, being careful to catch all the ends. Push one of the rollers over the ends and curl the hair as tightly as you can. Then secure it in place with elastics. Now dip the tail in the water and brush it until it's smooth, flattening it into a ribbon. Push the last curler over the ends of the tail and curl it, going towards Rarity's head. Tighten it and secure the curl in place with more elastics. Dunk Rarity's hair in the water one more time to secure all the curls in place. Now leave Rarity like this for at least 24 hours to give the style time to set. When it's time to take the rollers out, very carefully use a pair of scissors to cut the elastic securing the tail. Without pulling the curl out of place, pull the hairpin out. Now, snip the elastic securing the top curl, holding on to the hairpin as you do so. As carefully as you can, pull the hairpin out of the hair and the straw without disrupting the curl. Gently ease the straw out and cut the remaining elastics. Again, gently pull the last pin out and then the straw. Next, dip your fingers in the water and ease the tail out into a ringlet. Then, being extremely careful, use a damp finger to push the ends of their hair into the centre of the curls. Lastly, take a clear elastic and put it around Rarity's neck to hold down the lower curl. Make sure the elastic doesn't get tangled in the curls as you do this. And with that, you're done. If you liked this video, then give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more styling videos. And as always, thanks for watching. everyone, today we're going to style Applejack and to do this we're going to need clear and red hair elastics, a doll's hairbrush, a small towel and a bowl of warm water. First, dunk Applejack's mane in the water and brush through it until it's smooth. Brush and smooth the mane with your fingers to make the ends into a point. Flatten the ends of the hair onto Applejack's head to make her bangs. 
Put an elastic around the ears to keep everything in place and mess up the bangs a bit, picking at them until they look right. Gather all the doubled over hair at the back of her neck and tie a red elastic around the hair, making sure you catch all of it. Then throw some water over everything to make it sit right. Dip the tail in the water and brush through until it's smooth. Now twist the tail and tie a knot at the root of the hair. Pull it tight and tie a clear elastic just underneath the knot. Now brush through and flatten the tail into a ribbon shape. Then tie a red elastic tightly around the end of the tail. Pick up the hair and neaten it up one more time, then leave it to dry overnight. And you're done. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more styling videos. Also, let me know in the comments which Paley's hair you'd like me to style next. And, as always, thanks for watching. Hello everyone! Today we're going to style... Body shine. And to do this we're going to need... A dolly's hairbrush, a pink or clear hair elastic, a small towel and a bowl of warm water. First, soak Fluttershy's mane in the water and brush through it until it's smooth. Then split her mane right between her ears, pull the lower half to the display side and the top half to the opposite side, brush through and smooth both halves. Now pour a little water over the top half of the hair and smooth it into a ribbon shape. Then take the ends and pull them round into a curl. Holding the curl in place, gently put her on her side, making sure the hair sits right. Now repeat this on the other half of her mane, this time curling it in the opposite direction. Then leave her to dry on her side overnight. When she's dry, take her tail to the water and brush the tangles out. Smooth out the tail as much as you can and tie an elastic around the very ends of the hair, then leave it to dry. And you're done! If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more styling videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Hello everyone, today we're going to style Twilight Sparkle. And to do this we're going to need purple and or clear hair elastics, a dolly's hairbrush, a small towel and a bowl of warm water. First, submerge Twilight's mane in the water and brush through the hair until it's smooth and free of tangles. Split the mane right down the middle. Take the back portion of the hair and twist it around the other half of the hair twice. Pull the short part to the side and the longer hair to the forehead. Then put an elastic around her ears to secure it in place. Next, take the front portion of hair and split it in two, pulling both halves down to sit either side of her horn. and flatten this hair as much as you can. Now use your fingers to pour small amounts of water over this hair to neaten it up. Twilight's head just above her eyes and pull the ends of the hair up to sit on top of her head. Put another elastic around her ears and neaten up her bangs. Now 
pour some water over the loose portion of her hair and brush through it. Then pick it up with your fingers to make it perfect. Take her tail to the water and brush through it until it's entirely smooth. Lastly, run your fingers along her hair to make it flat like a ribbon. Leave the hair to dry overnight, and you're done. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more styling videos. And as always, thanks for watching. everybody, today we're going to style Rainbow Dash! And to do this we're going to need some hair elastics, a dolly's hairbrush, a small towel, and a bowl of warm water. First, dunk Rainbow's tail in the water and brush through it until it's smooth. Pull your fingers along the tail to make sure all the hair is together. Next. Twist the tail tightly and tie it in a knot, being careful to get all the hair through the loop. Pull the knot so it sits at the root of the tail. Make the knot as tight as you can, smoothing the tail as you do so. Take a clear or blue elastic and tie it tightly underneath the knot to secure it. dunk her mane in the water and, once again, brush through it until it's smooth. Next, part the hair down the middle of the yellow section. Brush through the bottom portion and twist it as tightly as you can. of any colour around the end of the hair. Holding the twist tight with your fingers, tie it in a knot. Push the knot so it sits right against Rainbow's head and pull the ends of the hair to sit down at her side. Use a clear or green elastic and tie it around the bottom of the knot, again as tightly as you can to secure it. Now take the top portion of hair and dip it in the water. Use the brush and your fingers to flatten and smooth the hair into a wide ribbon. It's important that this is completely smooth and flat. Take the ends of the hair and smooth it to end in a point. Very carefully place this on Rainbow's forehead to make her bangs. So they sit right on her head and put a clear or blue elastic around her ears to keep it in place. Push the knot at the back of her head through the loop you've made with the bangs and remove the elastic from the green portion of her mane. Brush through this hair and mess it up a bit. Rainbow would never be seen with perfect hair after all. Next, brush through her bangs backwards so they don't look too pristine. Leave the hair to dry overnight. And when she's finally dry, you can use your fingers to fluff up her forelock to make it a bit messier still. And with that, you're done. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, today we're going to style Pinkie Pie. And to do this, we're going to need a dolly's hairbrush, eight hairpins, lots of small hair elastics, a pair of scissors, some drinking straws, a small towel, a bowl of warm water, and a lot of patience. First, take a hairpin and push a straw over the bumpy side of it. Cut the straw to the same length as the pin to make a mini hair roller. Repeat this until you have eight hairpins that look like this. 
Next, dunk Pinky's hair in the water and brush it until it's completely smooth. Now, separate a quarter of her hair from the front of her mane and brush through it to make it smooth and flat like a ribbon. Carefully push one of the hairpins over the end of the section of hair and wrap the hair tightly all the way around it, going towards the ears. Tighten it as much as you can and secure it in place with some of the elastics. Next, take a third of the remaining hair and repeat the previous steps, this time rolling it in the opposite direction. Repeat again, taking half of the hair remaining. Now do the same thing once more with all of the hair that's left. When you're done, the mane should look something like this. Now take the tail into the water and brush through it until it's smooth. Or just as smooth as you can get it. Uh, my pinky's tail is quite frizzy. Split the tail into two halves, then brush through one of the halves to make another two halves. Wrap the larger portion and one of the smaller portions of hair around her legs to keep them out of the way. Next, take the loose portion and wrap it around a pin the same way you did with the mane. Then secure the curl any way you can. Now take the other small section of hair and repeat the last step. Brush through and halve the remaining hair, then repeat the process of the last two curls. When you're done, dunk the hair into the water once again to set the hair in place. To let the style set properly, you need to leave the curlers in for at least 24 hours. When it's time to take the rollers out, very carefully use a pair of scissors to cut along the elastic securing one of the curls. Then gently ease the hair out of the pin. Repeat this with all of the remaining hair. Be careful not to pull the curls out of place as you do this. After removing all of the pins, Pinky should look like this. Next, dip the tips of your fingers in water and gently run them over the curls to loosen them.
Now repeat this with the main, starting with the front. This part will make Pinky's bangs, so pick it until it looks right. Then very gently ease the back curls out into ringlets. Pick at the hair until you're happy with it and leave it to dry overnight. And you're done.